Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome to this, our prayer and holy communion service tonight. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, wherever you are, please welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome someone, please, to tune in to our Facebook, to this service. Like our page and share in the name of Jesus Christ. So, I want to remind you, by the end of this service, we shall be taking Holy Communion together. So, prepare something that we shall bless to be Holy Communion. So, please, prepare yourself. I know through this service, God will bless you, God will meet you, God will minister to you. So, let's open with a word of prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Our Father and our God, we say thank you this evening. Thank you for all the viewers. Thank you for as many as are connected to this service, Lord. I pray, Daddy, let the heavens open. Father, I pray, have mercy on us tonight. Have mercy on your people tonight. Meet us at the point of our needs. And as we cry unto you, Lord, please, Daddy, show yourself. You have said the house of Jacob shall never seek you in vain. Daddy, as we are seeking you, Lord, show yourself. Show yourself, Daddy. Please, Father, show yourself. Reveal yourself to your people. Heal the sick. Deliver the captives. Daddy, meet each one at the point of his own need. And let your name be glorified. We love you and we exhort you. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. Amen. Once again, welcome, please. In Jesus' mighty name. As we are going to begin this prayer, I want to read a scripture in the book of Proverbs 24, verse number 10. The Bible says, if you faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. If you faint in the times of challenges, then it means your strength was too small. The power you are operating in is small. So what are you supposed to do? You are supposed to tap onto God's power. Tap onto God's power. And how do we tap into God's power? It is through prayer. Prayer is one of the channels through which we can tap into God's power. Isaiah 40. Isaiah chapter 40. And I'll read from verse 28. The Bible says, As thou not known, as thou not art, that the everlasting God, the creator, the Lord, the creator of the hands of the earth, fainteth not. Have you heard? God does not faint. Neither is he weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increased strength. So the Lord is the one who gives us strength. You need to tap into his power, tap into his strength. He says, first that he, even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. They that wait upon the Lord. So prayer is one of the channels, as I said, of tapping into God's power. And waiting upon the Lord is prayer. It means prayer. So we are here tonight to call on the name of the Lord that we may tap into his power. So welcome, and God bless you so much. I know for sure you will tap into God's power. At this juncture, I want to welcome Reverend Teresa, my wife, to lead us further in this program. Welcome. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We thank God for another day that the Lord has given unto us to be able to wait upon him. We are here as God's servant, our Father in faith, as saying we are here through prayer to tap onto the power of God. And therefore tonight, I know it's your night that you are going to encounter a living testimony in Jesus' mighty name. We are going to start by thanking God for his faithfulness and his goodness. 
and also for the reopening of the places of worship in our nation, Kenya. The Lord has been so faithful. We have been praying, trusting upon the Lord, and the Lord has earned and he has answered our prayers. And therefore tonight, we shall start by thanking God. So as we thank the Lord for what he has done, there will be, there will be a perfection of what the Lord has started. Therefore, we, our request that you turn with me in the book of Psalms, Chapter number 122, we shall be reading verse 1 and 2. And then you shall be joining us. Even if you are connected from another nation, you shall be praying and thanking God as you thank the Lord, even if the places of worship have not been reopened in your nation. As you join us in these thanksgiving prayers, you are also the places of worship in your nation shall be opened in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says, Psalms 122, verse 1 to 2, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And first two, our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. So we shall start by telling the Lord thank you for the reopening of the places of worship in our nation. Please, we are going to pray like this. This is the prayer kind for tonight, the first portion of this prayer service. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for the reopening of the places of worship in our nation. We shall be telling the Lord thank you. Because there is no one who can ever say anything that it comes to pass except the Lord commands it. That is the word of God. So we shall be telling the Lord thank you for the reopening of the places of worship in our nation, Kenya. Please just open your mouth, close your eyes and come before the Lord and tell the Lord, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for the reopening of the places of worship in our nation in Jesus' oh, mighty name. Let this be your prayer tonight that you are standing alone. Thank you for the reopening of the places of worship in the nation of Kenya and also the other nations of the world. Yes. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, tonight we are gathered to say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. Thank you, our Father, for the reopening of the places of worship in the nation of Kenya. Father, we have been waiting upon you. We have been calling you, my Father, Lord. And for sure, Lord, you have earned our prayers and you have opened the places of worship in the nation of Kenya. We are saying thank you. We are saying thank you. Without you, we can do nothing. I think everlasting Father, we are saying thank you, King of all glory. We worship you and we glorify your holy name. Father, receive all the praise, receive all the glory, receive all the honor tonight. Uh, from our hearts, we are saying thank you. From our hearts, we say thank you. From our hearts, we say thank you. Father, receive all the glory that is. We worship you and we glorify your name. Thank you, mighty God, as you glorify your name because of the reopening of the places of worship in the nation of Kenya, my Father. The places of worship shall also be opened in other nations of everlasting Father. Receive all the glory. And receive all the honor to you alone be all the praise, be all the glory. Thank you, thank you, thank you, mighty God, that your people shall be able to gather once again in the places of worship, my Father. We praise you and we worship your glorious name. Be exalted and be magnified. Thank you, thank you, thank you, our Father. We praise you. You are worthy of all the praise and worthy of all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks and the people of God say, Amen. Amen. We are going to continue with Thanksgiving session. We shall start as we shall continue by telling the Lord thank you for what the Lord has ordained for you in this month of July. As a GLCC commission, this month of July was declared our month of empowerment for the next level. So we shall be telling the Lord we thank you for all the blessings, the new doors that have ordained for me this month of July. And then you shall be opening your mouth and you shall be decreeing and declaring the name of Jesus Christ. That whatever the Lord has ordained for you this month of July shall not be delayed, shall not be diverted, and it shall come to you at the right time in the right portion and the right quantity and quality in the name of Jesus Christ. And therefore, please, so that we can continue pray, I request that you turn me into the book of Job chapter number 22 and verse 28. Job 22, we shall be reading verse 28 as we pray that prayer point. The Bible says Job 22, 28 Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the, the, the light shall shine upon thy ways. So it is your responsibility to decree so that it can be established upon your life. So tonight you shall not close your mouth. You shall open your mouth because the word of God says in Luke chapter 21 verse 15 you shall not read because of time. The Bible says that the Lord shall give you a mouth and wisdom that none of your adversaries shall be able to resist no gain say. So you shall be opening that mouth. You shall be declaring that all the blessings, all the open doors, all the divine 
exciting ideas of new ventures in business that the Lord has ordained for me in the month of July. They shall not be delayed. They shall not be divided. They shall not be stopped. We shall be commanding those opportunities to answer to us this month of July in the mighty name of Christ. So remember that the, the life and death is in the power of the tongue. Those who shall be using that power in your tongue to command all your blessings ordained for you for this month of July to be released and to you in Jesus' mighty name. Please open your mouth and say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for all that you have ordained for me in the month of July. I decree and declare it shall not be delayed. It shall not be diverted. It shall not be stopped in Jesus' mighty name. That prayer point is also on your screen. Please pray with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you are trusting the Lord to be released upon your life in the month of July, just open your mouth and command it to be released in Jesus' glorious name. Just lift your mouth and tell the Lord, Father, this month of July, it is my month of empowerment the next level. I am going to move to my next level in Jesus' mighty name. Lift your voice and pray. 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 It is your responsibility to declare and to decree what you want to see to come to pass in your life this month of July. Don't close your mouth. Open your mouth and pray. And tell the Lord Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ all my blessing, my blessing that I obtained for this month of July. They shall not be stopped. They shall not be diverted. They shall not be delayed. They are going to answer to me in Jesus' mighty name. I command all my blessings that are ordained for me in the month of July to be released right now. The new vendors in businesses, I command them to be released uh, to come my way this month. This is my name. I am going to move to my next level in my spiritual life. I'm going to move to my next level in my ministry. I move to my next level this month of July. In my business, I'm going to move to my next level. In my career, I am going to move to my next level. In the name of this Christ, I'm lift your voice and break. Every force of darkness that can hinder your blessing, that can stop your blessing, destroy it in Jesus' mighty name. And command all your blessings. There are many blessings that the Lord has ordained for you this month of July. Devil, lift your voice and declare it shall not be diverted, it shall not be delayed, it shall not be stopped. It is going to come to your way. You are going to receive it this month of July in Jesus' glorious name. The way the Lord has released it, you are going to receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Therefore, command all your blessings to be released, all your spiritual blessings to be released. Release, uh, your financial blessings to be released uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Father, we bless you. We thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Father, that this month of July, even as a commission, we are going to move to our next level. Financially, we are going to move to our next level. We praise and we worship your glorious name. Thank you, thank you, thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Father, for the release of my blessings that are ordained for me this month of July. I praise and I worship your glorious name. Thank you, thank you, thank you, mighty God. We praise you and we glorify your glory name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying, and the people of God say, Amen. Amen. For sure, you are going to receive all your blessings ordained for you this month of July, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Once again, welcome in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to take you further in this service. Prayer part number two, we are going to pray for our lives. And prayer point number one or part two, I want us to cry unto God for his mercies upon our lives. Hear me? I want us to cry for God's mercy. For God's mercy upon our lives. The Bible says in Lamentation chapter 3 and verse 22. The Bible says it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassion fails not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Now, if the Lord will show you his masses tonight, you will rise, you will fly, you will make it alive. In John chapter 4, verse 29, we see a woman called the Samaritan woman. And you know that woman was, was a prostitute. But when she met Jesus and he showed our mercy, what indeed in her life meant that to go back to the village and come back, she came back with the people. And when the people came, many believed in Jesus because of what she testified. And I pray by the grace of God, by the mercies of God tonight coming upon your life, you something will happen in your life Amen. that many will believe Christ, Amen. that many will turn to God, 
because of your testimony. Amen. So we shall be praying and calling upon the name of the Lord. We shall be praying this way. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the abundance of your mercies, open up my glorious destiny in this challenging moment thereby attracting many to Christ. So you shall cry for God's mercy to open up your glorious destiny because for sure you have a glorious destiny. And God's mercy will open your destiny, will open your business, will open your marriage, your career. Cry for God's mercy tonight and give you a testimony in Jesus' name. Lift up your voice. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the abundance of your mercies, Open up my glorious destiny. Daddy God, by the abundance of your mercy, by the abundance of your mercy, open up my glorious destiny. In this challenging moment, open up my glorious destiny. In this challenging moment, thereby attracting money to Christ. Marco Sangada Sakapalaba. Shiela la babusonda la bashanda la ba, molo bushiela la babusa talaba. Through the abundance of your mercy, Daddy God, open up my glorious destiny. Open up the glorious destiny of my viewers, Daddy. Through the abundance of your mercy, Daddy, your mercies are new every morning. Your compassion faileth not. Lord, by your mercy's law, in the abundance of your mercy, open the glorious destiny of your people. Open the glorious destiny of every jealousy member. Open the glorious destiny of your children tonight. I plead your mercies upon every viewer tonight. I plead your mercy's law. Daddy, your mercies are new every morning. Your compassion faileth not, Lord. It is of your mercies that we are not consumed daddy if you will show us your mercy nothing will be able to stop us nothing will consume us lord lord it is of your mercies that we are not consumed show us your mercy lord your loving kindness endures forever your mercies are new every morning daddy please i cry to you daddy show us your mercy there are people who have suffered in business lord show them your mercies lord show them your mercies daddy there are people of unset back in their career. Lord, show them masses, Lord. Show your people masses tonight. I plead your masses that I knew every morning. There are people, Lord, who have suffered too much in this pandemic. Daddy, show them masses, Lord. Show our children masses, Lord. Show our children masses, Lord. There are our children who, who are preparing for their KCP. Others who are preparing for their KCSC. And surely they have suffered this breakdown, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus. Show them your mercies and kindness, Lord. And encourage and empower them, Lord. Makusa gada kabalaba. She gadia kakabalaba. She handolobuso talaba. She alalababusa talaba. By your mercies to revive us. By your mercies to raise us again. By your mercies to lift us again. By your mercies to revive our businesses. By your mercies to revive our career. By your your mercies, Lord. Malababu shindili biso talaba. Heal those marriages, Lord. There are children who have suffered challenge in your marriages, Lord. Daddy, show your kindness. Show your kindness, Lord. Show your mercies, Lord, tonight. Show your mercies tonight. Show your mercies tonight. Show your mercies tonight. Show your mercies tonight. Show us your mercies, Lord. And let there be tangible testimonies. Tangible testimonies that to draw many to your kingdom. Bless and be your name forever. Being glorified and be exalted. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. Amen. Once again, welcome to prayer point number two or part two. Prayer point number two or part two. And this time we are going to pray for the entrance of God's word in our lives. The wisdom and the knowledge of God in our lives. For the Bible says in Isaiah 33, verse number 6, that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your time. So we need the wisdom of God, we need the knowledge of God's word for us to be stable in this unpredictable time. We need God's wisdom, God's knowledge, that we may be stable 
in the precious name of Jesus Christ. So we are going to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your word have a free course in being glorified in the lives of all our members and viewers, thereby establishing them in the church. That's why we are praying for the word of God to have a free course in your life. The word of God to penetrate you. The word of God to persuade you. The, the truth, the truth to establish you. So lift your voice for three minutes and pray, pray perfectly, pray persistently in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let your word have a free course and be glorified in the lives of all our members and the viewers, thereby establishing them in the church. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let your word have an entrance in our hearts. Let your word penetrate our hearts. Let your word have a free course in our lives. Malaba busha talabashanda. Le bushi agadia kakabalaba. Molo bushi talibu sota. Le masegede se kabalaba. Molo bushi talibu sota. Le masegede zi agagabalaba. Molo bushi talibu sota laba. Molo bushi lalaba busa talaba. Pray, continue pray. That the word of God will penetrate your heart. That the word of God will have a free course in your life. That you will not be swept away in this challenging moment. That your word, the word of God will establish you. The wisdom of God and the knowledge of God shall be the stability of these times. The wisdom and the knowledge of God shall be your stability in these times. Pray for the word of God to penetrate. The word of God to have a free course in your life. The word of God to have a free course in your life. Surrender yourself. Pray over your life. Telling the Lord, I surrender myself to the truth of the word. I surrender myself to you, Lord. I surrender to you, Lord, to be persuaded of the truth. In the mighty name of Jesus, I melt every hardness of the heart. Every hardness of the heart that has resisted the entrance of the world in our lives. I melt that hardness of the heart. I melt that hardness of the heart of my viewers. I melt the hardness of the hearts of my viewers. Maku Zagadia Kabulu Busu Katu Saga Zeketele Besu Talaba. I melt the hardness of the hearts of your people tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. That your word will have a free course. That your word will open the train. That your word will prevail in our lives. For the word will it increase. In the days of the, the early church, the Bible says it prevailed and the church was greatly multiplied. That wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. Thank you, Father. Bless them be your name forever. In Jesus' precious name we are prayed. We continue with our prayers. We are going to prayer part three. We are going to pray for the church. We are going to pray for the church. We are going to pray for the body of Christ. And so we shall start by praying and calling upon the help of the Spirit of God. In Zechariah chapter number four, verse six, especially the last portion of that verse, the Bible says, not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. So we shall be calling upon the help of the Spirit of God, even as we continue serving God, because it's the way we serve God, the more we serve God, because kingdom service is the key to divine health, the key to long life, and the key to divine provision. So we shall be calling upon the help of the Spirit of God in our kingdom advancement endeavors, in our kingdom service. We need the help of the Spirit of God. Therefore, we shall be praying like this in the next uh, two minutes, we shall be praying and asking for the help of God in our service to God. So we shall be praying like this, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, breathe upon me afresh, thereby empowering me for effectiveness in all my kingdom advancement endeavors. Therefore, we shall be calling upon the help of the Spirit of God in our service to God. We cannot do it without the Spirit of God. That is why we need the help of the Spirit of God. Therefore, please just open your mouth and come before the Lord and call upon the Lord and tell the Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, breathe upon me afresh, thereby empower me, empowering me for effectiveness in all my kingdom advancement endeavors. 
service. Go before the Lord and call upon the help of the Spirit of God in your service to God so that you can be effective in serving God. You need the help of the Spirit of God. It is not by might, it is not by power, but by the Spirit of God. That is why we need the help of the Spirit of God. Lift your voice and go before the Lord and join us in these prayers and surrender yourself and tell the Lord, Father, I am here. I am ready to be used of thee, my Father Lord. And for me to be effective in my, in my service to you, Lord, I need the help of the Spirit of God. Just surrender yourself before the Lord. Father, in the mighty name of the Lord, we call upon the help of the Spirit of God. We pray that you are going to breathe upon us afresh. We need the help of the Spirit of God. In our kingdom service, O oh God Almighty, we can do nothing without you, Spirit of God. That is why we need your help tonight. We submit ourselves. We surrender our bodies, our souls, and our spirits. We want to serve the Lord as it is commanded, as it is demanded, not as it, as it is convenient, but we want to serve the Lord as it is demanded of the Lord. And therefore, for us to be able to serve the Lord as it is demanded, we need the help of the Spirit of God. Father, I submit myself before your presence, Lord. My Father, I pray that you are going to breathe upon me afresh tonight, O Lord, for me to be effective in my kingdom service, O Lord. I need your help, Spirit of God. You are my help, Spirit of God. You are my teacher, Spirit of the living God. I call upon your help tonight, uh, that you are going to help me to be effective in kingdom service. Uh, I submit myself unto thee, Lord. May you help us, may you help us, may you help us afresh uh, tonight, my Father, Lord. We submit ourselves unto thee, Lord. May you take over in our lives. Uh, we need your help, Spirit of God, for so that our kingdom service uh, can be acceptable before the Lord, can be effective before the Lord. Uh, we submit ourselves, King of our glory, so that we can serve the Lord as in demands it, my Father. We surrender totally unto thee, Lord. Take over, Spirit of God. We need your help. We praise and we worship your holy name. Thank you, Spirit of God. Take over in our lives. Take over in our lives and reign in our lives. We praise you and we thank you. Thank you for your help upon our lives. We bless you and we worship your glorious name. Bless and be your name forever. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying and the people of God say, Amen. Amen. We continue our prayers once again. We are praying once again for the church. The church is you and I. We are the body of Christ. So we continue praying. And we shall also be praying for the GLCC family. As even we shall be returning back to the physical gatherings, we shall be praying that the Lord is going to draft all the members of the GLCC family back to the church in fulfillment of the ongoing revival. We shall be reading from the book of Numbers, chapter number 11 and verse 31. So that we can pray in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says, Numbers 11, 31, And there went forth a wind from the Lord, and brought quills from the sea. The Bible says, sorry, let me just repeat, verse 31, And there went forth a wind from the Lord, and brought quills from the sea, and let them form by the camp, as it were in this journey on this side, and as it were on this journey on the other side, round about the camp, and as it were two cubits high upon the face of the earth. So we shall be telling the Lord, let the wind of the Holy Ghost draft all the members of GLCC family back to church in fulfillment of the ongoing revival. There is great revival that is taking place already in the body of Christ. So we shall be telling the Lord, but let the wind of the Holy Ghost draft all the members of GSC family from all the corners of the earth, from the east, west, north, and south, so that they can be also gathered back to the church in fulfillment of the ongoing revival. So we shall be praying like this. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let the wind of the Holy Ghost draft all the members of GLCC family back to church in fulfillment of the ongoing revival. Therefore, please open your mouth and go before the Lord and tell the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ, let the wind of the Holy Ghost draft all the members of the GLCC family from all over, from the entire world, back to the church in fulfillment of the ongoing revival. Lift your voice and pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let the wind of the Holy Ghost draft all the GLCC GLCC members from every direction, from the east, from the west, from the south, and from the north, Lord. Draft them back to the church, my Father, Lord, in fulfillment of the ongoing revival, my Father, Lord. Guard the men and women, the young and the older, from everywhere, from the every direction, from the west, from the south, from the north, and from the east, oh my Father, Lord, by the wind of the Holy Ghost. 
Zundalaban, Rimazuka Talaban, let the wind of the Golagosa sweep Makazia Talaban across the nation of Kenya and from other parts of this nation, my father law. God bring all the members of the JCC family, my father law. Rimazika Talaban, that it is none that is going to get lost, none that is going to fall back, my father, from salvation, King of all glory. That God may you cast the entire JCC family, my father law. Rimazia Katalaban, Zundalaban, that they shall be gathered back together. In the mighty name of my father, Lord, in Mazikatalabazunda Laba, even them that are scattered by the enemy, who Lord, let the wind of the Holy Ghost, my father, Lord, sweep across my father, Lord, even our affairs, field, and bring also even new converts, my father, Lord, in Mazikatalabazunda Laba, there is none that is going to draw back to my father, none that is going to get lost to my father, Lord, in Mazikatalabazunda Laba, Zika Televisan Talababa Zetelebe, Marco Zikatalabazunda Laba, in Mazikatalabazunda Laba, Mika. Let the wind of the Holy Ghost drop all the GLCC family, my father Lord. From every generation, from the east, from the west, my father, the young and the old, my father Lord. Men and women, my father Lord. That there is none that is going to get lost, my father. None that is going to get diverted, my father Lord. In Jesus' glorious name, let the wind of the Holy Ghost, my father, and prophet, all the GLCC members, my father, from every area, my Father Lord, from every area, my daddy God Almighty, and bring them back, my Father Lord, in Jesus' glorious name, we thank you to bless your glorious name. Marabazita Rabazendelebe, Makozika Tarabazundaraba, Makozetelebe Shandaraba, that there is none that is going to grow weak, my Father Lord, we praise and we worship your glorious name. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, my God. Thank you, Father, for great restoration. Thank you for great revival that is also taking place in the body of Christ my father lord thank you thank you thank you mighty god we praise you and we worship your glorious name bless and be your name forever let we thank you and we glorify your holy name thank you thank you thank you for answering prayers bless and be your name forever in jesus mighty name we are praying and the people of god say amen amen once again viewers welcome to prayer part number four and this time we are going to engage into warfare. Into warfare. There is no possession without condition. So you must fight for your possession. You must fight for your blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want to read from the book of Isaiah 63 and verse number 4. We are going to invoke the God of vengeance to arise and avenge for us, avenge for the church. Because we want to see the church of the living God in our nation and all over the face of the earth, the church and defancing because it's ordained to our defense in Jesus' name. First number four, for the day of vengeance is in mine heart. Isaiah 63, first number four. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart and the year of my redeemed is come. So until vengeance is declared, the children of the Lord may never see their redemption, may never see their breakthrough, may never see their restoration. So we want to declare vengeance tonight in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Please don't fear calling on the God of vengeance. Allow me to, to, to further establish what we are praying for with one more scripture. In the book of Psalm 149, Psalm 149, the Bible says, verse 6, Let the high praises of God be in their mouth, and the two-edged sword in their hand. That two-edged sword is the word of God. Verse 7, To execute vengeance upon the hidden, and the punishment upon the people, to bind their kings with the chains, and their nobles with the fetters of iron. Verse 9, to execute upon them the judgment written. This owner of all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. So we have that honor from God to declare the written judgment. To declare vengeance. To call upon the God of vengeance and to fight for us. So we are going to pray this way. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we decree vengeance upon every agent of the devil, resisting the continuous growth of the church, and let the effect 
be manifested in our service from now henceforth. We want to, to call upon the God of vengeance to fight for the church. And this that vengeance is moving. We want to see the impact of it in the multiplication of our services, in the breakthrough of our services, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we decree vengeance. We decree vengeance upon every engine of the devil resisting the continuous growth of the child. And let the effect be manifested in our service from now and forth. In the name of Jesus, God of vengeance, show yourself tonight. God of vengeance, show yourself tonight. Fighting every angel of the devil. All is resisting the continuous growth of the church. Lebo zagadia kakabalaba. Molobo shitele bisota. Lema zegedia kakabalaba. Molobo shitele bisota. Arise, O Lord. Arise, O God. Let the enemy be scattered. God of angels, show yourself. Show yourself. You have commanded us to declare the written judgment. Every witch fighting the move of the church. Yes, in Genesis in family and in Kenya as a nation. Lord, we declare, let the fire of God consume them. Let the fire of God consume them. Let the fire of God consume them. We declare vengeance. Makazagabalaba, Shadalia Babushandalaba, Mekozo Godia Kakabalaba. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we decree vengeance upon every angel of the devil resisting the continuous growth of this church and let the effect be manifested in our services from now and forth. Rabu Shatalaba, Mekazagabalaba. Molobo shiteli bisota, le mashia dalia babushanda laba. Molobo shiteli bisota. God of angels, show yourself. God of angels, answer, answer tonight, answer tonight. Arise and fight our battles. Arise, arise, <coughs> arise. God of angels, arise, 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 arise. Malaba bushi la babusata laba. Daddy, we pray for the explosion, explosion of the church, explosion of the church, to be like a city without walls because of expansion, because of multiplication. Because every barrier is removed, every hindrance is removed, every barrier is destroyed, every engine of the devil who has vowed not to allow the church move, be devoured, be devoured, be devoured, be devoured, be devoured tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, Malababushin de Libisota, Le Mashia Lababusan Dalaba, Molo Bushila Lababusan Talaba, Mi Lababushin Dalabashanda, Le Mazeke de Sekebi Libisota, Le Mashia Lababusan Dalaba, Molo Bushit Libisota Laba, Malo Bushin de Libisota Laba, Le Mashia Dalia Labushanda. Me kosa gabalaba, molo bushila la babusata laba, molo bushila la babusata laba. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. Amen. Welcome to prayer point number two or part number four. And this time we are going to pray for deliverance. We are going to pray for deliverance of every of our members from the forces of witchcraft from the forces of witchcraft so i want us to read from numbers 23 numbers 23 and we are going to read first number 22 numbers 23 first number 23 23 23 please numbers 23 also first 23 the bible says surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any definition against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob, 
and of Israel. What had God wrought? So we want such a testimony also to happen in your life. That God will do something that will terminate whatever has been oppressing you in terms of witchcraft, every bondage, every force affecting your marriage, your family, your children, your business, your finances, your career, that force of which you got to be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. So we are going to pray this way. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we decree deliverance from every engendrement against the glorious destiny of every GLCC member, including all our new qualified and new members. So we are going to pray for their deliverance, their glorious destiny to be delivered from every enjoyment, from every witchcraft, from every spell. So if you are viewers, you maybe you are not a member of GLCC, pray for yourself that the Lord may deliver you from every force of witchcraft, from every force of darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice. In the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we decree deliverance. We decree deliverance from every enjoyment against the glorious destiny of every GLCC member, including all our new converts and all our new members. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be deliverance. Let there be deliverance by the blood of Jesus. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, by the blood of Jesus, by the Holy Ghost in fire, from every enjoyment. Marco Sagada Lava Shatalaba. Deliver us tonight. Deliver us tonight. By the blood of Jesus. 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 Let there be deliverance. Let there be liberation tonight. Let there be liberation tonight. Marco Sagada Sakabalaba. Let there be deliverance tonight. Let there be deliverance tonight. Daddy, let there be deliverance tonight. Makasagabalaba. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Deliver every new convert. Deliver every new member from every enchantment. From every force of darkness. From every force of witchcraft. God Almighty. Let there be deliverance. Let there be deliverance. Let there be deliverance. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice now. Begin to soak your body in the blood of Jesus. Soak your spirit in the blood of Jesus. Soak your body, your soul and spirit in the blood of Jesus. Daddy God, I soak my body in the blood of Jesus. I soak my spirit in the blood of Jesus. I soak my soul in the blood of Jesus. Body, soul and spirit, I soak in the blood of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus. I repeat the spirit of suicide. Attacking your children. Attacking my viewers. The spirit of suicide. Attacking the brother. Attacking the brother. I repeat in the name of Jesus. You spirit of suicide. I command you. Loose in the name of Jesus, you spirit of suicide. I come against you now by the blood of Jesus, by the anointing. You spirit of the witch of, of witchcraft. I rebuke in the name of Jesus. I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Marco Sangabalaba Shatalaba. Molobo Shilababu Sandalaba. Molobo Shilababu Satalaba. Malababu Shilababu Satalaba. Soak yourself now, body, soul, and spirit. In the fire of the Holy Spirit, call upon the fire. Soak your body, your soul, and your spirit in the fire. Soak your family in the fire of the Holy Ghost. I soak my body, my soul, and my spirit in the fire, in the fire, in the fire, in the fire of the Holy Ghost. I suck my body, my soul, and my spirit in the fire, in the fire of the Holy Ghost. And I rebuke that force of witchcraft, that arrow of the wicked, 
that are of infirmity, that are of infirmity. I cast you in the name of Jesus Christ. Marco Sangabalaba. Loose my viewers in the name of Jesus Christ. You harrow, yes, of which you craft. You harrow of which you craft. I curse you in the name of Jesus. I command you out. I command you out. I command you out. You spirit of infirmity. I curse you in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. By the fire of God. By the anointing. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Yes, my viewers, continue soaking yourself in the anointing. Call upon the anointing of the Holy Ghost. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. I suck my body, my soul, and my spirit in the anointing, in the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, wherever you are beginning to surrender yourself, Surrender yourself to Jesus. Allow the Lord to take over in your life. Tell the Lord I decrease that you may decrease. Take over in my life. Let that be your prayer tonight. Lord, I surrender. I surrender my life. I surrender my soul. I surrender my spirit. I surrender my entire being. I surrender my entire life. Malaba bushila la babu satalaba, molo bushila la babu satalaba, molo bushila la babu satalaba, molo bushila la babu seteribi, makasanga balaba, molo bushila la babu satalaba. One minute, open your mouth now, begin to declare, I receive my miracle, I receive my healing, I receive my deliverance, I receive my promotion, I receive my, <coughs> my financial breakthrough, I receive my blessing, open your mouth, declare. Declare the name of Jesus. I receive my possession. I receive my possession. I receive my miracle. I receive my blessing. I receive my blessing. I receive my victory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Master. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. The Lord enlarge you. For sure, I know the Lord has had you. Amen. At this juncture, we want to come to the session of Holy Communion. As we announced you in the beginning, please, you need to have a piece of bread, something for the Holy Communion, and a drink, and drink or a juice. We are going to bless for Holy Communion. As I've always told you, every time we have had this service, previously is that during the last supper Jesus took the bread they were eating and he blessed it and after blessing he declared this is my body hear that after blessing the bread he declared this is my body likewise after taking the cup he also declared this is my blood let me show you a mystery because only communion is a mystery and this mystery carries a lot of power you see a mystery cannot be justified academically it cannot be proven psychologically it has to be proven by the spirit is only testimonies and miracles that authenticate a mystery now let's read together in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter number 10. 1 Corinthians, chapter 10. I want to read verse number 16. 1 Corinthians 10, verse 16. Hear what Apostle Paul is saying. The cup of blessing which we bless is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? The cup of the blessing. What is Paul calling the cup of blessing? He's calling the blood of Jesus. The cup of blessing which we bless. Is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break. Is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? Now there's something... 
Apostle Paul is revealing here tonight that this cup, this communion we, we are taking tonight is calling it a cup of blessing. When we talk of blessing, we are not talking of things like cars, properties, houses. No, we are talking of the power that comes to make you flourish. The power that makes you succeed. The blessing here is not gift. The blessing here is the empowerment to make rich. The empowerment to cause you succeed. As the Bible says in Proverbs 10, um, 10.22, The blessing of the Lord maketh rich and adds no sorrow. The blessing of the Lord maketh. It maketh one rich. That blessing connotes empowerment. So tonight, as we are taking the communion table, see it as an empowerment for blessing, as the, the a steering instrument, as a tool, as a device that will stir the blessing in you. Because if you are born again, you are already blessed. You are blessed. Remember, the Bible says, Christ became a curse for us. That the blessing of Abraham. That means what meant Abraham flourish, what meant Abraham succeed, came in you through Christ. Is in you through Christ. So if that thing is in you through Christ and you are not seeing the manifestation, it needs to be activated. So only communion tonight will activate the power of blessing. Only communion tonight. So as we partake of this communion tonight, it will be coming to activate. So after this communion table tonight, you will see things happening in your life without struggle. Amen. Things will begin to happen in your life in a very high speed. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me show you something concerning blessing in the book of Leviticus 25. Leviticus 25. Once this blessing is activated, the power of blessing is activated in your life, things will multiply. Amen. Blessings, business will multiply. I want you to believe God. It is by faith. It is by faith. It is by faith. Leviticus 25. As the Lord was taking the children of Israel to Canaan, there is something he told them. He told them, in that land, you shall be cultivating the first year, the second year, the third year, the fourth year, until the sixth year. But on the seventh year, he told them, you shall allow the land to rest. You shall not cultivate. You shall not be farming. So they began to wonder, if we shall not be planting, what shall we, we be eating on the seventh year? What shall we be eating? What shall we be eating on that year of release? What shall we be eating? And the Lord told them something which I want you to see in verse number 21. Okay, let me begin from verse 20. And if you shall say, what shall we eat the seventh year? Beyond, we shall not sow nor gather in our increase. Verse 21. Then I will command my blessing upon you in the city here. Hear what the Lord is saying. I shall command my blessing upon you in the city here. And it shall bring forth the fruit for three years. When the blessing is commanded in your life, he told them you shall harvest three times. You shall sow once, but what you shall harvest shall be three times more what you used to harvest there before. And you shall sow in the eighth year, and eat yet of all the fruit until the ninth year, until our fruit come in you, uh, come in, ye shall eat of the all the store. So the Lord told them, when I command the power of blessing, oh, you shall harvest so much, such that what you, you shall eat on this, you shall eat the same of the same year, the head year, until the ninth year, eating still from the blessing that the Lord had commanded. Now, my prayer for you tonight, may that blessing be activated in you. Amen. 
that you will move three times. Amen. You will see your business, Amen. your blessing, Amen. your 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 increase. Amen. Three times Amen. more, three times more, Amen. three times more. Amen. We are talking of empowerment for next level. Amen. And one of the ways God empowers his people is through the blessing. Amen. Through the blessing. Amen. So only communion will activate the blessing in you. Amen. For you to get threefold, Amen. threefold, threefold. Let that be your, your faith Amen. tonight. Amen. Let that be your prayer tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus, root in your voice and pray for yourself tonight. Tell the Lord as we partake of Holy Communion tonight. I want three for the blessing. Three for the blessing. My blessing to be activated. To yield three times. Three to yield three times. Makasa Gabalaba. Shialababu Satalaba. Molobo Shatalaba Shanda. Lema se gede se kebele besota. Libu shi ala la babu sanda la ba. Molo bu shi la la babu sata la ba. Molo bu shi la la babu sata la ba. Molo bu shi la la babu sata la ba. Mala babu shi la la babu sata la ba. The blessing, the blessing to be activated via this communion table. That once it's activated, it will yield three times. Mala babu shi la la babu sata la ba. Molo bu shi la la babu sata la ba. Lift your children, Lord. Yes, via this mystery, via this mystery of Holy Communion, via this mystery of Holy Communion, thank you, Father, thank you, Master, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Father, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Father, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Father, thank you, Jesus. Blessing cannot operate in the same place with the curse as the blessing is activated. Every curse is terminated. Every curse is rooted out. Every curse is crushed in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank you Lord. In Jesus' name. Please, from wherever you are, take that holy communion, your bread. I want to bless it in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this bread your people are holding right now. I bless it in the name of Jesus. To be the body of Jesus. To be the flesh of Jesus. Yes, the flesh that was broken for us. Yes, As we partake of this Holy Communion tonight, yes, we are delivered. Amen. As we partake of this Holy Communion tonight, yes, we are healed. Yes, As we partake of this Holy Communion tonight, yes, the blessing is activated. Amen. The blessing is activated. Amen. The blessing is activated. Amen. The curse will be broken Amen. and the blessing will flow tonight. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Likewise, I bless this cup. As your people are lifting the cup yes, to you, Lord. Yes, Lord. I bless this cup in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And I declare this now the blood of Jesus. Yes, Lord. The blood of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Which Apostle Paul calls it the cup of blessing. Yes. As we partake of this cup of blessing. The blessing of Abraham in us is activated. The blessing of Abraham in our system. In our families, in our marriages, in our business, in our career, is activated. Is activated. That power to inherit, that power to possess, the power to succeed, the power to flourish, the power to make it alive, is activated. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Master. Thank you, precious Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen. So tonight. By faith, we are going to take all the communion together. You can also serve your children. Your children are riding on your faith. Your children are riding on your faith. So let's take together. As you take it, your miracle is now. Your healing is now. Amen. Your deliverance is now. Amen. Your restoration is now. Amen. The blessing is activated. Amen. In Jesus' name. Take it by faith. Little your voice. Thank God for the activation of the blessing. Thank God for the activation of the blessing. Thank God for the activation of the blessing. Declare the blessing is activated. Thank you, Father. The blessing is activated. Thank you, Father. The blessing is activated. Thank you, Father. The Abrahamic blessing is activated. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. 
the blessing of Abraham in us is activated. The blessing is activated. The curse is broken and the blessing is flowing. The curse is broken and the blessing is flowing. The curse is broken and the blessing is flowing. Sickness and disease is terminated. Divine health is flowing in us. Yes, every curse is broken. The blessing is flowing. The curse is broken. The blessing is flowing. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Master. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Begin to declare by faith, I'm healed. I'm delivered. I am free. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am favored. The blessings activated. The blessings activated. I am free. I'm delivered. I am restored. I am restored. I am healed. It is well in my life. It is well in my family. It is well in my marriage. It is well in my career. It is well in my, my business. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Lord. I am empowered. I am empowered for my next level. Open your mouth, declare that way. I am empowered for my next level. I am empowered for my next level. I am empowered for my next level. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Master. Bless and be on it forever. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying and God's people say, Amen. God bless you so much. God increase you. God enlarge you. God enlarge you. God favor you. In Jesus' precious name. I believe the Lord has blessed you. The Lord has increased you. Please, we wish to hear from you of what God is doing in you, please. Share your testimony with us. Share your testimony with us. Our number is on your screen, please. Share your testimony and the Lord in the Christian, the Lord in lunch you. So at this juncture, we want to honor the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, with our offering, with our tithe, with our giving, with our substance of worship. So please prepare your offering. Prepare your substance of worship. Honor the Lord with your substance. Honor the Lord. Honor the Lord. Please don't withhold from giving to the Lord. Hear this scripture from Proverbs chapter 11. I want to read for you as we are giving to the Lord tonight. Because even giving is a mystery. It's a, it's a mystery. Imagine, hear that. Proverbs 11. And I want to read verse 24 and 25. There is E that scattered. That was scattering here is giving. You are giving to the Lord. You are giving to the needy. You are giving to the work of God. You are giving to the less fortunate. The Bible says there is he that giveth and yet increase it. That person is giving out. And instead of decreasing, that person is increasing. It's not that a mystery. And there is he that with all dead. He doesn't want to give. It's with all day. The Bible says there is he that with all dead more. That is meat, but it tended to poverty. When you fold your hands in the time of giving, you are releasing yourself to poverty. Please don't do that. Give at your level. At your level. The more the Lord has blessed you, is the more you are supposed to give. First 25, the Bible says, The liberal soul shall be made fat. He that gives. Is liberal, is 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 used to blessing. The Bible says that person shall be made fat, and he that watered shall be watered also himself. That one, you have been watering other people, watering the kingdom of God, watering the servants of the Lord. The Bible says such a person shall be watered also himself. That means your blessing shall not go to somebody else, shall come to you. So, it's your opportunity now to give to the Lord. So, wherever you are, I want you to prepare your giving, your packet, your seed, your seed of honoring the King of Kings. And we are going to give through M-Pesa. M-Pesa is the platform we are going to use. M-Pesa team number. So, go to M-Pesa, then to Lipa na M-Pesa. Then choose till number. That is buy goods and services. Buy goods and services. And use this number, please. It's also on your screen. 
586 916. I repeat, 586 916. 586 916. Please send your offering, send your giving, your tithe, your substance of worship. And as you give, the Lord bless you, the Lord increase you. Amen. Let your soul be watered. Amen. Let the Lord make you fat Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Allow me to pray for that offering. Father, we thank you for this offering. Yes, thank you for this tithe. Yes, thank you for this giving by your people. Yes, Daddy, please receive it. Yes, Father, receive this offering. Yes, Father. Father, receive this substance of worship. Yes, Lord. And as you receive it, bless your people. Yes, Lord. And increase and enlarge them, Lord. Yes, Lord. Water your people. Yes, Lord. Water your people. Yes, Lord. Cause them to increase. Yes, Lord. You have said it in your word. It is more blessed to give mm -hmm. than to receive. Yes, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Yes, Lord. As we give tonight. Bless us, Lord, yes, Lord, and let your name be exalted. Yes, thank, you. thank you for my viewers. Thank you, Lord. thank you for everyone who has followed this service. Yes, From wherever they are, bless them and increase them. Yes, I cover them with the precious blood of Jesus. Yes, Make them a wonder. Yes, Make them a wonder. Yes, Make them a wonder yes, in blessing, yes, in grace, yes, in favor, yes, in increase. Yes, and let your name be exalted. Yes, Daddy, I declare once again, yes, even in this challenging moment yes, cause your people to own property Amen. cause your people to build houses Amen. cause your people to invest Amen. to have new businesses Amen. to have new businesses Amen. new ventures to increase to expand Amen. in all direction yes. for we are not depending on the economy of our nation yes. we are depending on every economy yes, that cannot suffer inflation yes. That cannot suffer depression oh, yes. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That cannot suffer recession. Thank you, Thank you mighty God. Thank you, Thank you precious Lord. You. I declare your people are covered. Amen. Even this night, they are protected. Amen. It is well with their lives. They will increase more and more. Amen. They will scale higher and higher by the day. Amen. And let your name be, a, 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 let your name be magnified. Amen. Thank you for the grace. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you, thank you for the breakthrough. Thank you, thank you for the breakthrough. Thank you, thank you for healing. Thank you, thank you for healing. Thank you, thank you for the prophetic voice. Thank you, Lord. To you be the glory. Yes, to you be the honor. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying that God's people say amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. I want to invite you, please, for tomorrow's service. We have deliverance service we have deliverance service tomorrow beginning from 6 6 p.m to 7 p.m east african time please join our service and the lord bless you the lord increase you the lord and lunch you we love you so much thank you for connecting to this service thank you for following thank you for your comments we really appreciate you we really honor god for you jlcc family i love you so much I love you so much. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your commitment. Thank you for your devotion to the Lord. We love you and we love you. We love you so much. Please, from wherever you are, we want to share goodness together in fellowship. Surely, goodness and mercy, signs, wonders and miracles shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall know in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.